Welcome back everyone to my YouTube channel. Before we get started, I want you to do three things. Like, subscribe, and comment down below to be shouted out. Also, stay for the end to see our shout outs. Alright, in my last video, I said I'd do the Civil War, but that is being on hold for now. But today, we're doing the Boston Tea Party. You may or may not have heard of it, but it's one of the most memorable moments in history. Now, go get your popcorn and lay back and relax, and let's go back in time. Now, instead of talking about history, we're actually going to be going into history. <sighs> Woohoo! Oh, I almost forgot. We need a top hat for this occasion. Let's suit up. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. Now that we're here, it's the year 1773. Now in the 1770s, tea was the most prized possessions. It was so valued, tea was so easy to sell. In fact, they had too much tea just sitting in warehousing, rotting and spoiling. The British East India Trading Companies needed a bailout, so they looked up to the North American colonists. Normally, British tea merchants sold tea to American traders in London at a markup, who would then sell tea to colonists, and then the British government thought, why are we using American merchants to sell all of our tea when we can just ship it there ourselves? So they cut out the middleman by passing the Tea Act in 1773, which would allow the British East India Trading Company to ship and sell their tea directly to colonies at a lower cost. The idea that a British monopoly on tea sales in America would ease the company's financial burden. Now, it's important to understand that the Tea Act was a part of a larger effort by the British to squeeze as much money as possible from the colonists. Because the Brits were heavy in debt from the French and Indian War, and the colonies became their own private ATM of sorts. A few years earlier, Parley and passed the Townsend Act, which taxed items that colonists relied on, lead, glass, paper, and tea. The black backlash was so severe that the British peeled all the towns and acts but one, the tea tax. Colonial tea merchants were furious not only as they had taken away the tea act from their source of income, but that they would still be taxed through the roof to buy their own tea. Colonialists had to take matters into their own hands. Now we get to the good part, the Boston Tea Party, the reason you're here. December 16, 1773, Americans fought back by boycotting British tea entirely, allowing imports to sit at the docks and spoil. Colonial governor ordered that American colonists buy the tea. That night, a group of about 60 Bostonians called the Sons of Liberty, wearing paint, and they boarded three British East India Trading Company's ships. They spilled 342 chests of tea into the Boston Harbor. Then they celebrated. The British doubled down in response by passing the Intolerable Act. They punished Americans for their resistance. They closed the Boston Harbor and imposed martial law. Well, that was the Boston Tea Party, one of the most memorable hit moments in history. All right, time to get back. <sighs> Thank you for watching my video. I'm glad you stayed for the end for our shout outs. But first, I'd like you to like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. Now, let's get to business. Our shout outs. Maxine Knight. Thank you for watching. Comment down to be shouted out. All right, Professor Failure, signing out.